Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and today we are gonna chug one gallon of iced tea. So this is like American iced tea or sweet tea. So in Canada, we really only have like Nest tea and Brisk, which are like syrup-based iced teas. Whereas this, like the sweet tea in America is actually made from an actual tea. So this is just like the Great Value Walmart brand. Um, this is the Diet Sweet Tea, so it's sugar-free. So what we're gonna do is chug this thing. So one whole gallon of iced tea. Not sure how quick this will be. I haven't chugged anything pretty fast in a while, but uh, here's my good friend, Mr. George. Hey guys. Down here, <laughs> hanging out. So uh, let's do some iced tea chug. So we're gonna crack the top, iced tea. Oh, okay, we've got a seal and peel lid. Smells like the real iced tea, the real like sweet tea. So I am gonna taste this before because I've never tried the Walmart brand, so. That's good. I haven't had, well, I, that's a lie. I have iced tea every time I come to the States, but. Mm. Not bad, would recommend. It was like $2.30, $2.30. So I, oh here, cap the camera. That didn't work. Cap on the ground. But uh, let's do a gallon of iced tea in Five, four, three, two. I don't know how long that was, but it's pretty tasty. It was enjoyable. So there you go, guys. Walmart diet sweet tea. Would recommend. So everybody, until next time, stay happy, healthy, hungry, and happy drinking. Last time on Hanging Out with Joel Hansen and George Lobianco. The barbecue gone, we actually already just ate pork chops. And we're being uh, very, very specially treated to these beautiful number of porterhouse steaks. Literally there's four here, so two each. And these things are definitely like a pound each. So this is like excellent looking. <laughs> Just, just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, no, not too much. I'm good with just the water there. Okay. Yeah. Here, George. Look at that beautiful, beautiful steak. Look at that. George, how's that looking oh, for you? Oh, dude, so? looks good, man. Nice. Is that too raw? No, not for you. No. I know that's not too raw. Mm -hmm. And we'll go from there, and the more you do, the better you can get. Good job, man. How the steaks came out good. How's that say, George? Very good. Very good. Beautiful. I've had a few bites. It looks good. It's like probably like a medium rare slash a little, eh, probably medium rare. Yeah, the be beautiful porterhouses. I like it. Let's see if I can sit. Let's see if I can eat. Get you something. Well, I'm gonna let you get no hurry, you just grab these little pots. Yep. Thanks, dude. Huh? Thanks. Do rock. Oh, yeah, that's perfect for George. It's pretty. It's George, George level of rare. Yeah, you like rare, I do. It is really good, though. It's just a salt and pepper. No rum. There's no nut nanos. Just salt and pepper. And I let them breathe for a couple hours. Yeah, we're just like get it out of the fridge and everything. You just leave it out for yeah. two hours. Room temperature. And the salt and pepper is just sort of like it. Works it, weighed, works its magic. Okay, guys. Enjoy. Thank you, George. All right, thank you. I want to talk to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> See how she's doing. And like I said, George, you're so hurry. You can put them on the two wherever you're ready. Don't worry. Thanks. Except we do got them outside. This one's okay. Right 
Yeah. yeah, make sure the bugs don't eat them, right? Yeah, you want me to bring them in? You can be a little big guy. Oh no, that'd be fine. Okay. Yeah, thanks George. Okay. So these are porterhouse steaks. So the porterhouse, uh, it's kind of like a T-bone, or actually I think it is basically a T-bone. So what you're seeing is the bone in between, like the T, and one side you have what is, I believe, a ribeye, and then the other side is like a sirloin, I believe. So it's kind of like the combination. Well, they're both really nice, but as you can see, like a T. How's it tasting there, Georgie? They taste really good. Yeah, they are good. It's so hard to go wrong with beef. You know? mm -hmm. So hard to go wrong. With the fatty beef, it's the best. And you just have to eat all of it. George is definitely enjoying that thing there. Mm -hmm. Very good. Alright, so we finished the first steaks. George, what do you think? Oh, they're very good. Like, love the ribeye cut of it. Yeah, just like the best. Like, yeah, so the porterhouse or the T-bone, it's like the two different kinds. You have the strip, I think it's, a, I don't know if the strip loin or it's a sirloin, but you have one of those, but it's like, it's firmer, it's meatier. Yeah. Then you have the ribeye portion, yeah. which is just like, you can pull it apart. It's yeah. like delicious. Like butter. Yeah, like Li butter. literally like butter. Yeah. So now we have our second beautiful steaks. Which we will now be starting. Just, just, but you just have to appreciate the beauty of beef, and ask yourself, like, whoever decided to first try to eat a cow, you are like a very smart person. You are the man or woman that I approve. Technical difficulty. <laughs> Listen to that beautiful noise. Steak round two. Look at this beauty. Just look at the textures and the glistening light as this beautiful imagery tantalizes your taste buds. More beautiful steaks, really enjoying it. It's like the nice little fat. Oh man, I put lots of salt in mine, I love my salt, but it's just juicy and beefy and moist. Mm. It's too good. Too delicious. Good. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. I gotta do, actually I gotta run over to college. Okay. Because I thought the travel was going to be on TV. Oh, really? Yeah, the race. So, I might just cut you. The race is going to go on. Yeah, not a lot. Not a lot. Yeah, sure. Um, gotta go see that. Gotta, gotta win your mind. Because you'll be here for a little bit, anyways, right? Yeah. No, I'm not just going to eat and bounce. Well, you know, <laughs> I, you've done that before, so I'm not. 